All right, today we have the Poke FPV. It's a 5.8 gigahertz um, OTG video receiver for Android or Windows. Uh, one button scan, and uh, here is a OTG micro USB to connect into your phone or tablet. Uh, I have a video uh, receiver back there. It just pretty much uses one of these RC305s inside. And uh, we'll compare it. I'll put it side to side, side by side, and see. I don't know if you'll see the difference here. But it'll show you the difference in latency between having my regular receiver and going through um, the phone. So first thing we'll do is plug it in. And choose Poke FPV. That's the app you download for it. And there we go. So I'll show you the latency here. And you should be able to see it compared to the video behind it. That it's a little slower, a little slower than that one. So it's not really for FPV, more for lining up your shots. And also to note, this video is not as clear as my normal receiver. There's definitely some graininess in there. Here's where you choose um, to do side by side cardboard. Settings, there's nothing really in settings except for a uh, monitor always on. It has a record feature, but that record sometimes shuts my phone down, so I won't be using that. Outside, I'll just use a regular um, screen capture device to show you that. And the main reason why I bought these is because I have um, a quad that uses Mission Planner, and I wanted to use both of them at the same time on one phone so I wouldn't have to use a monitor and use a USB, dev USB device to um, do my telemetry. I wanted to do it all in one. So the good thing about this is I can go to Tower Beta which uses Joy Planner and the video will show up here once we go to settings, user interface, widgets, and it has displayed a video. I think I already have it connected via Poke FPV, so I'll take it out. Put it back in. And allow Tower to use it. Turn my camera back on. There we go, there's your video. There it is, I can make it bigger, smaller. And that seems to be about good there. Now, if I wanted to use uh, telemetry also, I could hook up a Bluetooth module and choose that and have them both coined at the same time with only using my phone as my FPV monitor and um, telemetry device. So I'll be buying that later and this just lets me know it'll work. So now I'll take it outside and let you see how the video looks. All right, I'm outside with my Flexify quad. I have it hooked up to my phone. I'll go ahead and record. And we'll give it a little distance. We'll get about 40 meters up and uh, see what it looks like. Here we go. It's a little windy out, so see how it does. So right now I'm about 40 meters up, and I'll go to about. 150 meters out Just so you can see what it looks like get up a little I don't want to take it out too far. Like I said, it's really windy See I don't have any video dropped yet. We'll take it up a little higher Just so I can still see it So you're probably not gonna be flying, you know much further than this um, You're a good ways away. You can still see it, but you want to keep it kind of close to you Unless you're really trying to do long distance flying. So we'll keep it around there. And um, 
pan down a little and let you see what it looks like. Turn to the right. So you can see the video quality is just not the greatest. Um, like I said, it's good for lining up your shots, but might not be very good for high speed uh, FPV when you're worried about hitting things. And the latency is not a problem for doing these this type of uh, photography. So I'll go ahead and bring it back. Like I said, this is just a quick test to let you see what it looks like, and um, that's pretty much it. All right, that's it. Mm -hmm.